Mickey behind the scenes. Ahoy, shipmates. I'm reporting for duty aboard HMS Grafton to find out more about the new ITV naval series, Making Waves, which is awash with ex-bad boy soap stars. You've got Alex Ferns, who was evil Trevor in EastEnders, Lee Boardman, nasty Jez Quigley from Coronation Street. But will everything be ship shape and Bristol fashion on board? I'm going to start my inspection to find out. Set in the vivid and exciting world of the British Royal Navy, the centrepiece of the drama is the fictitious HMS Suffolk. It was actually filmed on this working warship. Can you tell us a bit about your character, Commander Martin Brook? What, mm. what kind of man is he? Well, he's an ex-Harrier uh, pilot, which I think the Navy weren't too impressed for. <laughs> but he's a, he's a flyboy, basically. And uh, what, a lot of them do come from the uh, fleet air arm and they take over ships or they get a drive of a ship. So he gets his first drive of a ship. Fortunately, it's a, tri uh, a ship in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a view that Suffolk will not be ready for first assessment in four weeks' time. I don't share that view. Stuff it can and will be ready. What was it like not having to play a murderous psychopath? That must have been very refreshing. Well, it was, yeah. I mean, it's my first television role since uh, since Trevor and EastEnders. Um, yeah, it's been completely comp a, a new experience altogether, especially playing the lead. You know, where you've got a kind of there's a kind of uh, there's an unknown quality to the character. There's a kind of reserved thing that you don't quite know what's going on with him. And I, I, I kind of enjoyed that, rather than just being this complete nutcase. <laughs> Oi! Are you Commander Brooke? No, sir. Chief! I'm... I don't care who you are! Clear off! That's OK, Buffer. I'll go first. Draw the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, Captain. Sir? Don't worry about it. Now, of course, Trevor, when you play Trevor, you had a huge female following. Lots of fan letters. And really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. people writing to the papers yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Do you think you're as likely to be as much of a romantic hit in the uniform? Because I'm thinking Richard Gere, officer and a gentleman, yeah. top gun, you know? Well, I reckon if I don't become a gay icon, don't make the cover of Attitude, I think there's something wrong there. <laughs> to be Hello Sailor. To <laughs> be Hello Sailor. <laughs> Jenny Howard, Acting Executive Officer. Welcome on board Suffolk, sir. Thank you very much. Emily, can you tell us a bit about your character in Making Waves? Yes, I play Jenny Howard, who is the Executive Officer of HMS Suffolk, and uh, she's basically second in command of the warship, which is really quite an impressive role to have. Sir, I'm fully aware that you have every right to expect a more experienced Executive Officer. Well, Commander Gladwin had no hesitation in recommending you. But given my predecessor, a qualified XO was dismissed the ship. If I were the new captain, I would have reservations about someone who'd not been second in command at sea. Now, is your character ambitious? Does she want to be a captain? Well, my character, she's only, she becomes the executive officer really by accident. Something happens in episode one. And uh, so she's not actually prepared to be an executive officer at that point, but suddenly she is, and it's sink or swim, and she has to make a go of it. Are you saying you're not up to the job? No, sir. I intend to complete the qualification course as soon as I can. Well, which you'll need my recommendation. Well, you certainly deserve a fair crack of the whip, Jenny. You'll either prove you're up to the job or you won't. Fair enough, sir. Well, we've come to the galley, which is the kitchen to you and me, to meet the fantastic Lee Baldwin. I was a bit nervous, because, of course, you were Jez Quigley in Coronation Street. I was Jez Quigley. But your character in this Making Waves show is very different. Describe him for us. My character is Art Francis, who's leading chef. Your cooking's got better. It's worse, sir. Uh... And um, he kind of has a wry kind of eye on everything that goes on. In the Navy, the chefs are kind of quite famous in the Navy. The chefs are standing around me at this point. That's why I'm sort of <laughs> checking what I'm saying. And they've all got these... They all have these huge knives. knives. Yeah, they're all waiting, just in case I slip. <laughs> But they're, uh, they're quite kind of famous in the Navy that if the captain wants to kind of judge morale on board ship, the first place he'll come down to is, is the galley. But he's a bit of a naughty lad as well, because aren't you the, um, the ship's unofficial bookie as well? I am the ship's unofficial bookie, yeah. And that was great, because when I first went to and met Ted Charles, the exec producer, they said, uh, yeah, you know, we're gonna, this chap is going to be kind of a... He's going to run a book. And I used to run a book at school on boxing matches, and I made a fortune all throughout school. <laughs> I was just going to clean that off, sir. 
Put me down for a tenner. On me. <laughs> OK, as a bookie, what are the odds on making waves being a hit? Well, I would like to say that it was um, a two to one on. Um, you know, hopefully. I hope so. I hope so, because also, Paul, we've got, like, the, the toys that we've got. We've got the ship, we've got um, the helicopter, which is amazing, on the back of the ship. Whenever the helicopter came out, I just became just like a silent five-year-old again. I just sort of stand and forget everything and be staring. Well, that's my tour of inspection over, but will making waves be a hit, or will it be all at sea? That's up to you. As for me, I think the chance of it being a success look positively buoyant. It looks fantastic. It does look good. Terrific.